Good morning, everybody, from the mountains overlooking the Sea of Galilee. Today's going to be a big day at 6.40 in the morning. I'm already dressed and ready to go and heading down right to here to meet our fishermen. Let's do this. Let's walk the land together. down the mountain uh, I am at Cafe Aroma I think the last time I did a video I was at Cafe Aroma now with my buddy Moshe Mailspin uh, we've been we've been buddies for a while and Moshe and I actually Moshe had a big part in uh, locking down these fishermen to uh, let us come on the boat with them and hopefully God willing catch some fish so a little bit of Cafe Aroma and a lot of bit of the Sea of Galilee let's go up in the sky and let's do this Dude, look at that. Whoa! Yo! Wow, welcome to David. Mitsuyan, Hashem. Wow. So he's ready, he's getting the, the boat ready. He said he's gonna take us out. He's gonna we're gonna come back and he's gonna prepare some fish for us on the lake shore. And it's, he's gonna add some spices. It's gonna be hopefully delicious and a lot of fish. And uh, we're gonna have a nice time chilling at the end. So let's do it. Quite unreal, quite unreal. I'm not sure how many people get to come out with the fishermen. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure people have, but I've, uh, I'm quite, uh, I feel quite honored. I fish actually quite a bit here on the Sea of Galilee with my little fishing pole. But to go out with the net fishermen kind of feels, feels like you're going back in time because that's how they fished 2,000 years ago. At least my rabbi and a lot of his uh, followers fish with nets. Uh, it's just kind of surreal. So we're pulling them in one at a time and it's just kind of, crazy they're just kind of stuck in the net I'm kind of picturing in my mind like a, a, the bottom of the net's just a bunch of fish but they're just kind of looks like they just swim in and their scales just get stuck and he's just slowly pulling in and I didn't expect to be this many big fish yeah, carp. whoa carp, carp yes whoa. oh that's a nice one wow yeah oh my gosh by the end of, the, of this video, we're going to tell you how many fish we caught. Comment below on how many uh, fish you think we're going to catch today. I'm praying we don't, we don't fill the boat and we start to sink. <laughs> Not as easy as he makes it look. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> We've been fishing for a while now, and this net was 350 meters long, and it's still, you probably can't see it, there's a blue, blue uh, container down there we still have to go to to finish. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Finish. Yeah, what a good fishing morning. Yeshua, on va la Dayag. Je suis guia la Dayag. On m'a dit tu fros pour ta reche. Zen. Yeah. Ze kilo machu amiti, lo stam. Ze aba chili, ve saba chili. You dit mi ze. He's saying like Yeshua said to, to do, to cast your net on the other side. He was just saying like, this is what you're supposed to do. Like this is like a real thing too. For real fishermen. That he loves his father and his grandfather. Ne 
There he is. That's my buddy. St. Peter. You gotta dig in. You gotta dig in. Oh my gosh. Look how just flakes right off. Oh. A little hot still, so I gotta go slow. So here we go. That's That's so to conclude this epic trip this morning, I want to just read from John 21 when Yeshua appears on the Sea of Galilee. This is after he died and after he rose again. He wandered the earth after, I think, for 40 days. John chapter 21, it said, after all these things, Yeshua manifested himself again to the disciples at the, at the Sea of Galilee. But when the, the day was now breaking, Yeshua stood on the beach, yet the disciples did not know that it was Yeshua. So Yeshua said to them, children, you don't have any fish, do you? They, they answered him, no. And he said to them, cast the net on the right-hand side of the boat and you will find a catch, which we did today on the right side of the boat. So they cast and when they were not able to haul it in because of the great number of fish, Therefore, that disciple whom Yeshua loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. So when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put his outer garment on, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. But the disciples came in the little boat, for they were not far from the land, but about 100 yards away, dragging the net full of fish. So when they got on the land, they saw a charcoal fire already laid and fish placed on it and bread. Yeshua said to them, Bring some of the fish which you have now caught. Simon Peter went up and drew net to the land, full of large fish, 153. And guess what? That's pretty much about the number we caught. And if you're wondering, you're trying to guess how many fish we had, I couldn't guess exactly, but it really is right around the 150 mark. So if you guessed around 150, 153, you were spot on, or at least as good as I can number. So they pulled in about 153. Uh, and although there were so many, the net was not even torn. And Yeshua, said to them, come and have breakfast. None of, the, none of the disciples ventured to question him. Who are you, knowing that it was the Lord? Yeshua came and took the bread and gave it to them and the fish likewise. Now this was the third time that Yeshua has manifested himself after he was raised from the dead. Yep, this is the lake. This is the water. This is the shore. These are the shores where this happened. It's quite incredible. I hope you enjoyed that. I can't wait to start working on our next Walk the Land video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified when our next video is. Until then, keep walking in the light, following our great rabbi, Messiah Yeshua, and I'll see you again right here in Israel. Let's go. I'm walking along, singing a song, dreaming of a land that I call home. Just wishing I was strumming these chords on my classical guitar by the lake shore. I'd rather be, I'd rather be, I'd rather be in the gallery. I'd rather be, I'd rather be singing in the Galilee, oh, oh. And if I could see my Lord standing right in front of me, oh. His ancient words, so divine. Heaven met earth right here on this lake shore. I'd rather be, I'd rather be, I'd rather be in the Galilee. Oh, I'd rather be, I'd rather be singing in the Galilee. Oh, 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 o